take a moment and look at the apps on your child's cell phone or tablet. There could be vulgar material and even messages geared toward your child. Uh, parents are talking a lot about this on social media. It's a game app called Roblox. It's, it's geared toward 8 to 12 year olds. And consumer news, uh, consumer investigator, excuse me, Libba Holland joins us now to explain how it may be inappropriate for children. This app is called Roblox. It's a simulation role play game that's really for anyone of all ages, including kids. I'll give you a look at it. You can play different games like Boys and Girls Dance Club, Roboxian Life, even Prison Life or Murder Myth Mystery. So I asked parents what they thought about it. I don't really like um, prison life and murder mysteries. Uh, they're not allowed to play with them. And I've read that there's bad things, like, you know, there's predators and things that get to them on that. I would... wouldn't allow that. To play on the Roblox app, users sign up, choose an avatar, then role play and interact with other users. In the game Prison Life, it's the guards versus the prisoners. In Boys and Girls Dance Party, the, the avatars talk about the popular music that plays. You have to like look over their shoulders. I find that even if we have the parental controls set up, they can still like get around them or they're getting apps that are playing in sections that we don't want them in. The Roblox website says it protects users 12 and under, preventing them from sharing personal information. It also protects players' safety by filtering inappropriate content. It says users should report vulgar chat messages or block any other user. I mean, getting online, speaking to strangers, you know, you're setting your kids up for um, a very dangerous situation. Now, there are, other, uh, there are other games on the app like SpongeBob, Hide and Seek that seem kind of harmless, but what's really sparking the conversation here is about the interaction the kids can have with strangers, basically. Yeah, what sparked all this talk on this is social media? Well, an article on kidspot.com is circulating through Facebook, and a lot, of, a lot of parents are sharing it online. It's about a dad in England who played the app himself. And what he experienced was inappropriate chats and sometimes even sexual comments were posted. So he kind of flagged that and spoke to uh, the person who wrote the article about it and wants to be aware of this app to monitor their kids', yeah. their kids information. Parents should probably do that with all games. And if it's on your child's tablet or iPad, probably play the game yourself and make sure that everything that they are viewing is safe. Absolutely. And that's what I talk to a lot of parents about, so I have more of their opinions coming up tonight. All right, we look forward to it with a